so the last time for me was uh, going through the whole of Delta with uh, Ben and Winston. How nice to uh, meet the other side you of the story. You've collect them all, man. Uh, yeah, how yeah. nice to meet the other side of the story. I'm genuinely stoked to, uh, to, well, we're to meet you to guys. Meet it you was, too. The it, mutual. It, it was really, uh, it was really good going through through Delta with the, with the boys, and 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 uh, we've got our mutual friend Paul Epworth, of course, that that uh, you know made that into such a he's surprising. He's currently just got off. Oh yes, a private jet. <laughs> yes, I saw in Madrid <laughs> to watch his beloved Spurs yeah. get beaten by Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I, I'm a fellow uh, a fellow Spurs oh, fan, Spurs and, fan. And, I, and I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. I was, you know, what I was going to go through this interview and not mention the football because I thought <laughs> you'd get really that. pissed off with it. Yeah. 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 Pissed off. We, we, so in our in our game, we call it a rookie error. We call it an MFT, which means my first tour. <laughs> yeah. And it is a rookie error to book a gig. On an important day in football. Yeah, but who because, knew? Because well. we, you know that it's the Champions League final. Right. We should yeah. have seen. Basically, it was a massive <laughs> up on our end. We should have seen <laughs> that it was the Champions League final. <laughs> like during the World Cup, we didn't book any any gigs during the England games. Yeah. In fact, we went to yeah. one of them, the last one, which wasn't good. But it's an MFT to book a gig on a football day. Huge MFT. Yeah, but the thing is, who knew it was going to be even one British team? You know, two. I mean, this is, it's, 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 we're on at 9.15 so, and the game kicks off at 8. So we'll see the first half in a bit. There's two crew members particularly who are really upset. Really? One's a massive Spurs fan, one's a massive Liverpool fan. <laughs> So My base tech is the Liverpool fan, and I'm I'm just going to look after myself. Yeah. So here I'm we also are. I'm really distracted by what is happening in what I believe is the production office in behind, the, right behind ball. the camera. Oh, it's, there's They're a inflating some the, sort the, of massive thing. It's a paddling pool. It is. It's a paddling pool, which oh, I'm I'm guessing excellent. is going to get filled with ice and drinks for you. Well, well I mean, it'll be full of ice, hopefully. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Really, after this or, is all done, would you join us for a, a paddle? For, a, for a, yeah, an ice an ice bath. I do. Yeah, yeah, well, I do the Wim Hof method, man. Do I'm all do. about yeah, every day, oh, nice, every day. Really? I've done it every day for the, the whole Chris Evans whole thing. Years old. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm well, I, I'm, I'm half. I'm 54, and wow. and and I, I have a freezing cold shower every day. And that, and and how long? A year, two years and a bit. Now, how long is the shower? Uh, about a minute, depending on the on how hot it is. You know, in the winter, a minute. Do you in the summer, watch two with minutes. Warm water and then go. So I cold. go, I go a normal hot shower. So yeah. it's not a horrible shot when you get in there. Yeah, yeah. I so lather up and all yeah, that, yeah. and then I make it go cold at the end. Oof. The trick is like, if you want to get into it, fifth, just just go just go in, have your normal shower, and then make it go cold for 15 seconds, week one, 30 seconds week two. And then you build 45 up. weeks and then you build up but I the thing is I enjoyed it so much I enjoyed it so much that uh, here I'm a man I'm supposed to be talking about music and I'm evangelizing and I loved it so much that I was at a minute in week two because it yeah, the, thing is, it, it, the thing is it, it chemically it is like it just gives you this massive, massive uh, rush of dopamine. Yeah. So you like, I, I actually laughed like all hysterically the yeah, first time that I did it. So I, I love jumping in, 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 in cold bodies of water. Yeah, it's great. Whenever I get the opportunity. It's your speciality, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. It is great. Well, so it. next time, next time, tr trust me on this one, take 30 to 40 deep breaths, like chain. Yeah all the way in all yeah. the way out all yeah. the way in all the way out and then jump in and in fact do this right tr trust me on this one just like, dip your toe into really cold water and you're yeah. gonna think oh god that is so that hurts right yeah. and just think how much it hurts right then do those 30 40 breaths and then put your foot in again and I promise you it it'll hurt by like 70% less 80% yeah, right. less and it's because they they know this right? because because your your pain receptors you can't argue with it this is science your pain receptors go down to 20% which is why, what do they do when if any of, of you have you got kids? So what did they say to your wife when she was giving birth? Breathe. 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 Yeah. They've known this for thousands of years. It takes the pain away. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah, I get do it. it. I get it. Like a real oster. When I've done, I've done my back on talk a couple of times, I get real oster and there is all about breathing to help you through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the thing about doing this is for, for busy musicians such as yourself and you go on tour, you, you can't afford to get ill, especially you. Yeah. You know, anyone who's singing. Well, you all, you do four-part harmonies in yeah, this band, yeah. don't you? You can't afford to get, like, you know, 
sinus problems and, and throat problems and stuff like that. Yes, a, a cold and flu system. is like a thing of the past when you do this. This is a measurable thing. It boosts your immune system by a phenomenal amount. You're because a real it, evangelist for well, this Well, this thing. is I'm the thing. I, I like it. I, I, well, this is it, because I, I, I researched a documentary about it. I know, I, I've uh, met really? Wim. I, came, I went on Chris Evans' breakfast show to talk about it, you know. Uh, okay. So, so I am a bit of an evangelizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back now. Let's bring it back. <laughs> like, like, and that's a wrap. <laughs> Come back here. So... We are here evangelizing about the Wim Hof method in the inner sanctum, in the inner sanctum of uh, All Points East. Secret so lair. this is, yeah, it's your, this is your secret of Dr. Evil it's Lair. Um, so how lovely to, to have your own thing, you know, do you, you've, 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 this whole bill is your fault. You've, you've done this, haven't you? We you've try and this do together. this sort of thing as often as we can and the, the nice people at All Points East were willing to collaborate with us. So yeah, the, the whole of our gang got in sort of you know, late last night and put all the flags up and we dressed the site to make it feel like our own and yeah booking the bill is one of the best things one of the best fun you can have as an artist when you're announcing a show you know if you can get involved and create the whole event for people it's a really fun thing to do so, yeah, yeah of course so you must there must be a sort of a, a balance of getting your mates in and then yeah. and then and then booking people who you really want to see yeah yeah so who are the people who you really want to see that you haven't seen that you're I looking forward to staves yeah which yeah. is unbelievable i haven't seen them play live in ages and then I'm gonna watch Dermot Kennedy. What a voice! Which I'm really excited about because I haven't seen him live yet. Um, that's gonna be awesome. Villagers are on like, now, so we might yeah. uh, wrap this up. Have you seen Jade Bird? No, okay, we'll, we'll wrap up. I'm, just, I'm excited about that too. Um, I haven't seen a lot of the people on this, but we're sad Sam Fender had to bail because I saw him at Radio One last week, oh, at another place last week. <laughs> and, uh, and that was wicked. He's incredible. He's amazing. So yeah, it's 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 a good and dizzy rascal. Super. I mean, I, oh, yeah. So that was the surprise. Super. That was the ace up your sleeve. Like well, how how like? I remember talking why? about That's it in the studio. We were like we're figuring out the bill and we needed someone to go on just before us and we thought about dizzy and what an amazing show he had put on. And then we Ted, couldn't. Can I just say your mic workers? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite yeah. casual, isn't it's it? Very it's casual. Yeah, yeah, basically. Casual. Yeah, can like we have that. the vocalist? Can we have the vocalist yeah, in charge of the yeah. You know how these things are, <laughs> You know how these things are. Um, yeah, and he's gonna be he's gonna be great. He's gonna tee us up a dream, I think. Well, I mean yeah. he's the best MC in the game, player. and that's what you want before you come on, is an MC. You exactly. know, to big you up. Exactly. I think you're a hype exactly. man. Yeah. You've got the best hype man in the business. Exactly. All right, well look, I I know that you've got places to go, and I, we both want to see Jade Bird. <laughs> she's in a resplendent duck egg suit by the looks of things. Is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see it in a minute. It. But so so before I let you go, just I, I want your me from each one of you individually uh, your memory banks to um, before Mumford's when you're just going to festivals as a punter. I want your f I want you to take us to the first festival that you went to see. Mm -hmm. I want you to oh, wow. tell us what who you were going to see, who was inspiring you to buy that ticket, mm -hmm. and then I want you to tell us who you ended up seeing as well that you never knew or never thought. And you know when you're at a festival and you go, oh my god, who is that? In that, oh my god, they're brilliant. You know that. My first festival. So tell us, talk about that story. Young, I think I was about 14, and me and my buddy wanted to go to Ozfest. Ozfest. 98. We went to yes. Milton Keynes Bowl. And we wore bin bags. I was they there. showed me how to. Were you? Yeah. It was fantastic, and it rained. And they showed me how to make holes in a bin bag, wear it like a sort of. You sort of looked like you were ready to do some medieval warfare or something. And uh, we stood in the rain, and we watched everyone from Sepultura to um, like Head P and Soulfly. And then the Foo Fighters came out, and they were yes. like the anomaly because they were so soft <laughs> compared to all this Come heavy metal. Head, yeah. And the whole place just got like they started doing Mexican waves. Did you see that around the bowl? I and think Dave Grohl got a bit sort of sick of it, and so he's like, "All right, do you guys want to see my ass?" And then everyone stops, <laughs> and they're like, "Yes, we would like to see us." So he did a moon and got everyone's yeah, attention that's the back. way. True showman. Yeah. Well, Marcus, now you know. If, if yeah, they get well, distracted by the yeah, footy, exactly. that's it. Then ass out. That's it. So what, 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 what about Especially you, mate? Especially extra time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there he is, the spud. Um, so, uh, I'm going to tell you about the first time I went see to Glastonbury because that the first first Glastonbury I went to. I played with Laura Marling. I'd never been before, and we played with Laura, and uh, and, w and we actually we, we actually opened up the uh, park the park stage oh, that right, year, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And and then we watched all these. It was at a time when people like a lot of people who are playing today actually like Justin from the Vaccines was playing as JJ Pistolet at that time. Uh -huh. Alan Powell was playing. Uh -huh. Beans on Toast was playing. He was an old mate of ours. And then we all went and watched Jay-Z. Oh, that year. 
that year. That year. And I that, was in the dance tent that year. And that <laughs> was uh, that was like the most sort of visceral exp- of my festival experiences. Wow. Yeah, I was up against Jay Z that year in the dance oh, tent. Were you? Yeah, it was brutal. Oh, were you? Well, you, but then, they, but the thing is, there's always a, a bunch of people who don't. You know, there was all those like, yeah, oh, there's like, oh, I'm not going to go watch it. And not go yeah, let's go and yeah, get yeah, pop yeah. Yeah. gourd in the dance yeah, tent. Exactly. So it was, it nice. was, it was all right. Nice. But, well, uh, gentlemen, yeah. thank you for taking us down memory lane, and thanks, uh, and thanks for inviting us. And uh, and so, just briefly, how's your how's your summer looking? You know, you're you're still oh, uh, it's you're full. still evangelising Delta to the world. Yeah, and I think we will for a while. It's a long album. There's a lot of list that you've got to listen for it's a, a while grower. to get into it, and it's a grower. So actually, we noticed that just on this last tour, it feels like the European audience are just it's some people are getting it, and the songs are getting more and more exciting live. But it's there's a lot of there's a lot of songs, and they're quite dense. A lot of them, so yes. people are kind of getting their heads around it. So we feel like this is going to be quite a long tour because we kind of we want to do it justice. We're really proud of this record, and I think to do it justice, we need to kind of commit to a good couple of years touring it. So we're like a third of the way through, or something like that, mm. the tour. So June's really busy, July's off, and then August, September, up till Christmas is busy. And then we're just planning next year at the moment, but we love it, man. I wouldn't rather. Do anything else? Oh, fantastic! Be anywhere That's else. great. You're still fans, you we know. Love it. Like even you being one of the yeah, biggest fans sure. in the world, you've still got big smiles like on your you faces. Are. Being like, you love yeah. it, don't you? Exactly. Never stop being a fan. You yeah, know, it's great. Gary Newman, he's still a fan. Yeah, he's a legend, but he's yeah. still a fan. Exactly. Yeah. Like but, it. Yeah. Well, let's go and watch some music then. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's <laughs> nice do it. Song, man. The best music all day. Virgin Radio.